Hello and welcome to another video on Will's Grill Shack. Today we're cooking some ribs in the Brawl King pellet grill. And judging by that intro, these ribs are going to be absolutely spot on. As you can see, they've got that really nice sticky um, texture on them, which is what you want. So you might have guessed it, you might not have done. We're going to be doing Chinese St. Louis cut ribs today, which is something that I've never done before. It's a, and I've got a recipe that I really want to try. Um, I've got some new Angus anoint rub, which I want to try. And I say a nice glaze that I've tried on some other things uh, on the channel. I did some chicken wings um, and I want to see what it'll be like on ribs because it was so tasty. We're also going to do a um, bit of a spare of the moment thing really. Um, we're going to do membrane on on one rack of ribs and membrane off on the other rack of ribs. And we're going to see whether it actually makes a difference to how it cooks and how it tastes at the end. So let me know in the comments below if you think it'll be better with the membrane on or with the membrane off and I'll let you know at the end of the show what I think. And don't forget guys, I have got an Instagram page. There's some of the cooks that I do just here, and if you want to get hungry, head on over there and check it out. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and recipes, and broken content just like this. So, without further ado, let's head over to the bench. We're gonna have a look at the ribs, and I'm gonna show you how I season them and prepare them. Okay, and here are our lovely ribs. Uh, we've gone for the St. Louis cut today, um, which is probably one of my favourite cuts actually. Um, so what we're going to do is get these out of the packaging. Um, I've done a video on how you prepare them, so I'll chuck that up in the link just in the corner somewhere here. Um, so you should be able to see that, and I'll come back when we're going to season them. So these are now ready for seasoning, so let's have a look at the seasoning that we're going to be using and how we're going to do that. Okay, so first things first, we're going to uh, chuck some Frenchies mustard on this as a binder for our rub that we're going to be using and the rub that we're using today um, is this Angus Noink uh, Chinese takeaway salt pepper and chili rub so should be good with the glaze um, that we're going to do with it with the, the honey and chili glaze so it should all go really well together so we're just going to rub this on here just a light layer flip that over do the back outside the there make sure you just got all sides just really helps that rub stick is what I find. You can also use um, Worcestershire sauce or anything like that will we'll obviously do the same job but I just like mustard. It doesn't give any taste or anything like that. Okay so that's now uh, done so let's uh, now get the seasoning on. So seasoning as I said, Angus and Oink. Just going to go straight on the back here to start with. There's loads of little bits and bobs in here, I tell you, it smells really, really good. Okay, they're all seasoned. I'm gonna leave them now on the bench for about 15, 20 minutes before we go get the broil king going. So that's the ribs all prepared and ready to go. Let's go fire up the broil king pellet grill. As you can see here, press the button, on it goes. I haven't used this grill for about two months now because I've had the uh, keg here and obviously the gas grill and I've just been using those to be honest. So it's a really nice treat to actually get the pellet grill out and give it a go and I say not used it for two months. So turns on straight away, no issues. That shows how reliable this grill is. Right, the grill is up to temperature. So let's head on over and I'll show you putting them on and how we're gonna do it. And there we are just on the grill and we'll pop back in about an hour and see how they do it. So we're now just gonna leave those for two hours um, and then we're gonna pop back in two hours and have a look and we should be at the wrapping stage. Okay, two hours on, and as you saw by those little clips there, it's coming together really nicely, happy with how it is. Um, so now we're gonna go over to the bench and we're gonna wrap them. I'm gonna show you how we're wrapping them. And we're also gonna use some really nice hot honey, which I haven't used before. Um, and we're gonna use that in with the wrap. So I think it's gonna be really nice on there. Okay, so here it is off the grill. Got two knobs of butter here, which I'm gonna put on. This is a smaller rack. Um, and what we're going to do is chuck some of this um, hot honey on here. Um, never done this before, so it could go terribly wrong. But what we're going to do is just drizzle that over the top. 
just like so and that should really give it a nice effect then what we're going to do is turn that up face down onto the butter you see we're starting to get a nice bit of bone here Is ready to go back on the grill. <laughs> okay, so that's them all wrapped, ready to go. Only single foil them this time. Normally I do double foil. We're only gonna do single foil. And we're gonna pop those back onto the grill and then we're just gonna leave those in that foil for another about an hour and a half before we do anything else. Right, so hour and a half on now. Um, and it's now time to make our um, glaze that we're gonna be doing today. Um, this is our own recipe, so um, Hopefully it turns out okay. <clears throat> I tried it on some wings and it was absolutely banging. So hopefully it's gonna be good on some pork. There's only one way to find out. So let's go over to the bench. Okay, so we need to make our glaze that we're gonna do. So we're gonna have some of the uh, measurements in the description uh, so you can check those out. Uh, runny honey, a little bit of light soy, dark soy, nice bit of chili oil. Then we're just gonna mix all that together and that is our glaze ready to go. And hopefully you can see that. Just look at that lovely consistency of that glaze. I just absolutely love the colour of that glaze. It's just really nice. I love that dark Chinese sticky glaze. It's just really good. So we're now going to put that glaze onto the um, Broil King pellet grill for um, about 30 minutes just to let that warm through. Keep stirring it every sort of 5-10 minutes just to make sure that nothing sticks to the side um, and then we should be ready to start basting. Okay so we've got our mop, I'm just going to douse just like so, hear it. You can already see that the glaze is going to be really nice and sticky and this sets on here is going to be lovely that colour that they're going. Absolutely beautiful. So looking forward to trying these. You can see the first glaze done. Look at the shine on those. Amazing. Come back in 10 and we'll go again. Okay, so these have now been fully glazed and rested there in there for 10 minutes just to get that really sticky. And they are looking good. So let's get these off. Let's get them on the bench and have a better look at them. Okay, so these ribs are looking good. We've got perfect amount of bone pull on here and you can't pull the bone out as well. So there's gonna be a nice little bit of bite on that as well. Uh, same with these bottom ones, which are just out of shot. There you go. So you can't pull these out, they're nice. Glaze is sticky, as you can see there. Sticky on the finger, so that's absolutely spot on. So now let's slice it um, and see. I'm really looking forward to tasting these. My mouth is literally just watering. So we're just gonna cut this one here out. God, just look at the color on there. Just look at that, it's looking good. So it's just slicing ribs has never been my uh, strong point, shall we say. This one out here, oh look at that, oh lovely. So you can see when the camera oh, comes into focus, you can see there that we've got a nice little smoke ring on it, the glaze, absolutely perfect glaze, and that side as well, really really good. So let's get all these served up and we'll do a taste test. Okay, so this is the beautiful one with um, where we didn't take the membrane off. So you can see on the back here, hopefully you can see this, um, it's a little bit, I would say sort of drier really, just where the membrane has sort of um, stayed on there. It didn't cut as easy as what the one with the membrane off did. So what we're gonna do is take a bite out of this one. So, so we're just gonna take a, Bite out. Mm. Cool. That chili glaze 
is absolutely killer. Incredible. The, the, the little bit of heat from the chili oil and the chili sauce is still just on my tongue, but then you get the, the, the flavor in the meat comes through and it just, oh, absolutely amazing in your mouth. Really, really nice. I really rate that glaze. I'm gonna be using that more often. You can also taste the rub um, on the bottom as well. You can taste some of the fennel seeds and things like that, which is really nice. Gives it a little bit of sort of sweetness, I would say, in your mouth, but that is really nice. Okay, so now it's time for the one that we've taken the membrane off of. Um, you should be able to see on the back here that you can see that it's definitely um, a little bit easier to cut where the membrane isn't there. So same glaze, same everything. So let's now take a chunk out of this one. So, really different actually. Obviously same flavors with the, um, the rub and the glaze that we put on it. But if you just have a look at this rib, you can see that it's actually missing that whole whole section there. It was sort of fall off the bone really. And obviously the other one was bite through. So it's almost like having the membrane on, it just holds all the rib together is what I would say. There's definitely that little crusty bit sort of underneath, but it depends. If you like fall off the bone, I would take the membrane off. But if you don't, keep the membrane on. It's really nice for a bite through. And after enjoying the whole rack, it's safe to say I preferred the bite through ones with the membrane on. It just stuck it together nicely and was really, really good. And that glaze was absolutely amazing. Really, really good. You have to give it a go. I'd say it was up there with the Jack Daniels one that I've done previously, which you can watch the video just up here. That was amazing. But this, I would say, is just above that. Really nice bit of sweet and spicy, which is what you want with Chinese ribs. So we did the 2-2-1 method today. So it was two hours smoking, two hours um, wrapped in the foil with the butter uh, and that hot honey, and then one hour just with the glazing, and then the last 20 minutes in that hour was just letting that glaze really, really set. And it was absolutely spot on. As you saw, it was that perfect sort of sticky consistency, which is what you want with the Chinese ribs. So if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Will's Grill Shack.